So what is Marvel? Now Marvel is a free app you can download from the App Store which helps you turn ideas from this into something a bit like this. So what it is, is you scan pictures that you've drawn or created in any way you like and you give active sections tasks, usually jumping from one page to another. With this, you can simulate the entire experience of using an app really fast. Now, if you were to do it the old way, which is with coding, you've got to have the idea, sketch it, and then really get a lot of time invested in creating the coding behind it. By the time you find out that this idea isn't actually that good, you've lost a few weeks of work and the creativity is gone. Using Marvel, you can go from having an idea through to prototyping the experience, doing user testing, iterating the idea, rerun working it again, have multiple other ideas, and it's super fast. But before we get into actually working with the app, there's something really important that I want you to do. If you look in the description below, you'll see a link where you can download this. This is a printout which you can download for free under a Creative Commons license and you can share it with whoever you like and reuse it in your tasks. We're going to be using this printout in our tutorial today. What's really important about this is rather than just being a few very pretty apps which I created or app screenshots, you can see the sections on there which are highlighted in red. This will tell you what I want you to highlight in the app and what I want you to activate as action points. So it's great for you and if you want to share it, Feel free. So, without further ado, let's get on with this tutorial. Here we are on my iPhone, and I have the Marvel app downloaded just here. So let's tap that open and get started. The first thing you want to do is create a project, and choose whichever screen size you like, even Apple Watch. But I'm going to stick with the iPhone 6, as that's pretty universal to most devices. Just call this Test, or whatever you like, and click Done. The next step is to start adding photos to your design. I'll show you how to do this, just tap on the big green arrow, and here we have the screen size here. Uh, you can draw your own and do some design stuff in here with a little pen and bits, but I find it's much better to create with a physical pen, or maybe in Adobe InDesign or Illustrator. So hey, let's start again. I'm going to go for camera, because I've already drawn, and here we have the sheets which you have already printed out. All I've got to do now is go through each one individually and capture it. So the order doesn't matter too much, so let's start with this one actually, which is the first one. And you'll see that it captures everything around, just with your two fingers, zoom in and out to crop the image to roughly the bounding box. We're not trying to get it perfect, but that will do. Click the scissors and there we are. So I'm going to go through and add all the rest of the screenshots in here in exactly the same way, so I'll catch you in a second when this is done. Now that I've taken all the photos, we're going to go and add some interactivity, which is the fun part. So tap on our first picture, and it brings up the screen very similar to the one we had before when we took the photo. But this time I'm going to do something different. I'm going to click Add Link in the top right. This red box pops up, and we just place it in the right place, drag the corners out where we want them to be, and now that's Active Area. Click Link to Image, and tap on the picture that you want to go to next. To click done. So there's no more red areas which tells you that this is good because remember in this tutorial everything we're doing is red. Just swipe right and we can see the next page. This has got two sections which tells us we're going to have two interactivities. Let's start the first one, drag a red box to where you want it to be and this top area, now you can't see it very clearly because the top is hidden by the title bar but just about visible there. If you can't see it, just move it down. Link to image, click on the first one, click done. Now move that back to where you want it to be. Let's add another link, which is just below at the bottom. Be careful to actually grab those corners. Drive across, link to the next page. Okay, so you can see what we're doing here is adding little interactivities. I'm going to add one to the back page. It's the back button. Which is going for that chevron just there. Of course, the blue is telling you that it's active. I'm going to leave this one overlapping. It doesn't actually matter if you're exactly on the area, as long as roughly your zones are correct. So let's zoom out to there. So, link to image, and that's the next page. I just keep doing this throughout. They can see that I've done this throughout the rest of the app, so I'm now able to do the full interactivity. Oops, let's get that done. So, now that we've got our app fully ready. 
And how does it look? So I'm just going to go and click bottom right, the blue triangle, the play button. It's loading, it's thinking about it. And here we are. So that's the first screen. You can't see anything because all the little buttons there are hidden, which is exactly what you want. But if I tap on that woman, you see it goes to the next section. If I tap on her again, it goes back. This is very similar to how it would be in reality for an app. Click on Eco, and here we are. And once again, I can tap the back button, go to there, Eco, tap the woman, um, close that, go back into it, tap the Add button, see a screen pops up, I now want to view my bag, and there I am. Now I've viewed my bag, it looks very good, I'm going to click on the close arrow, and we can see here that we're back on the product category. Now one thing you'll notice is that the shopping basket now has a 1 in it. The reason for that, if I just hold and exit, is I've duplicated the images. If you've done this yourself from the um, sheet for downloaded, you'll have seen multiple images. So the first one we'll see here the product page for the woman, there's nothing in the shopping basket, and go forward, you see there is something. Actually, I can make that bit even better, can't I? Opportunities to improve are always there. So by doubling up what you're doing, gives you opportunity to re-simulate a lot of things. So using this app, I can put this app in front of somebody, see what they think. Do they think it's easy to use? Can they find something? Can they navigate? Is it confusing? Is it simple? And if there's a problem, I can just go back, sketch out a new one or copy out a new thing, make it better, give it to someone else, and iterate faster than anything else. So it's a fantastic app, and I really hope that you enjoy using it and that you find this tutorial useful.